Good afternoon, everybody. This is NCP <clears throat> coming from my uh, dirty, dirty, dirty workshop. <laughs> okay, let's let's be serious for a minute. <clears throat> um, with all the things going on now, I want to talk about sterilizing and sanitization. Sanitization. Oh, anyway, we're gonna use a quaternary solution, which is um. Oh God, what is that? That's a um. I can't think of what quad stands for. Hold on. Okay, it's quaternary ammonium chloride. Now, each one of these tablets <clears throat> will make one gallon solution at um, 200 parts per million. And that's what you use to sterilize food, the restaurant industry. Just look up quat uh, sanitization. Q U A T. Um, like I said, it's the. Um, uh, ammonium, uh, I don't know, I can't read that, <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry, but it's quat, that's, that's what I know as quat, uh, quaternary ammonium chloride solution, um, it's really good, it's rated for all kinds of things, all kinds of things, you should do your own Google research, um, <clears throat> but it sterilizes porous surface like boxes and things like that, it's great for it, but, in the food service industry, and with everything, it's time and exposure, etc. But 200 parts per million is what one tablet will do for one gallon of water. A half a gallon will make 400 parts per million with one tablet. Now, this box uh, with 150 um, tablets per bottle, I got six bottles, is like $40. I'll put a link below. Uh, that's about 950 gallons or something like that, I think. That's enough to use frivolously. It's got a 10-year shelf life. Uh, the manufacturer said it doesn't manufacture, it doesn't degrade. Uh, they said that it doesn't, um, it just lasts forever. The mixed solution lasts until used. I got some test strips. I don't have them down here, but I'm going to test this weekly. We're going to use this to spray down all of our mail or mailbox or anything we brought in. Now, this does have a blue tint to it. Um, that's some EPA rig, I guess, so, um. It doesn't look like water and have people accidentally drink it. But 200 parts per million is for, you know, surface, food grade services. 400 parts is for like soaking to really get things in. So I've got a one gallon sprayer here. But I think what I'm going to do is just do it in the, uh, the soda bottle or the um, Windex bottle. And what we're doing is I got the list of how long certain things were to last on surfaces. Not that this camera will focus. Well, this is approximate as of today's date. Uh, the information changes. But I'll put that below. But I'm going to go ahead and set one tablet in this, box, in this bottle. This two liter bottle, which is about a half gallon. And let's see here. Let me, let me open this box up. Yeah. As you can see, there's six bottles in there. Not now, but it was. Let me set this aside. <clears throat> so, let me open up the tablets. This is what they are. This is what you can just buy just this. I think one bottle was like ten dollars, but I wanted uh, you know six because as people are discovering this is getting harder to come by for sanitizing products. One tablet to one gallon. There's the name of the chemical on there. Ammonium chloride, whatever. So, I don't really have any glasses here. I haven't even looked at any of this yet. Directions. Mm. For sanitizing dishes, glasses, other utensils in restaurants, taverns, and other public eating areas. So, we're going to be using this to sanitize that type of stuff as well as you know, a stronger solution for spraying. Uh, one tap solution to 400 parts per million, which you can't see, but trust me, it says 400 parts per million concentration for one or two tablets per gallon. So, I've got cold water. They recommend warm water. You know, I'm not in a restaurant setting, so I don't need it fast. But this will be like spraying my mailbox down and such. Oh, I hope this tablet fit. 
It's like Tums. So we're just gonna put it in the bottle. Is the bottle on focus? It is. Don't hear of it. And we'll let that just go. I kind of thought it would foam for some reason. But it don't. <laughs> it don't foam. Where's my lid at? I've been making my own soda down here, so I have a lot of experience in shaking things. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to come back when it's done. Um, it's about 127 now, or one, 122 now. I'll come back when this is done dissolving. And I'm gonna get my test strips. Okay, I'm back. That took too long. It's now. Uh, 150 so it wasn't really dissolving so I put it in an ultrasonic uh, tank and uh, <laughs> that made short work of it so we got the test strips here which and these these are for the restaurants but they show what what the concentration is so let me get one of those out and let's test this I'll be right back when you're tested all right so we're gonna dip this and then you know let's uh let's pour just a little bit out here in the cap I can't really reach in well I guess I can hold on okay so we're just gonna dip and go real quick to check the uh, how much it is squeeze that up and we'll write 10 seconds or so A little bluer. Or wait, is it thirty seconds? Maybe. Or maybe I contaminated that strip. Yeah, I don't know. I need to stand these strips. Let's try again. You know, strip. You're not really supposed to touch it. Let me do a full strip. Hold on one second. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Clearly. Yeah, you're not supposed to touch it anywhere that you're not using it. So, I touched. So, let's go ahead and dip just touch this in we'll dip it again one second dip I'll we'll see and then 10 to 20 seconds or oh, we're more concentrated than we should have been no that's about right I can see a little bit of difference but that's 400 parts or better. Yep. This, should, this is a little bit more greener and this is more blue. But then again, we are dyed. So. I'm going to call that good. Okay. So, we got that. Now we're going to take our solution and funnel it into a bottle. With the you know, disinfection times usually on it. Or the length of time it lasts. Without, um, without, uh, whatchamacallit, um, dying naturally. Now we'll spray this outside. Oops. Now this is not food grade this time. It's too strong. Um, I guess it won't evaporate if you have it this level. But it will, um, it will, uh, decon stuff, like mailbox or whatever. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the virus, uh, can get on your clothing or whatever. This should not be used on clothing. It will stain, or so I was told anyway. But that's it. That's pretty much it. Just go out and have fun, and, uh,
you know, stay safe. And I'll spray this around the house. Outside. Outside the house, I should say. And then in a couple days, I'll test the solution again to make sure it's still the same strength. Um, like I said, some things say it's good for 24 hours. Some say it's good forever. Well, I don't want to go on math, even though math is my truth. Um, I'm going to go with chemical testing. So, now there's different test strips, but I'll put a link to what I got below. And uh, it should be good to spray stuff, you know. It's a little strong, but you know, a little decon and everything. Alright, have a good one, right? It's NTP. I'm going to go spray stuff.